After World War II, the RAF's strength decreased to about 150,000. In 1951, there was a fresh expansion, peaking at 257,000 by 1956. By the early 1960s, it had retreated to about 150,000, primarily based in the UK or Europe as part of NATO forces. The RAF regiment continued to serve as a regular army, responsible for securing airfields and providing forward air control personnel. After becoming a regular service in 1949, the RAF merged with the WRAF in April 1994. The RAF currently operates a fleet of various types of aircraft, primarily consisting of fixed-wing aircraft performing roles such as fighters, airborne early warning and control, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and signals intelligence. Check out these stunning color photos of the Royal Air Force from the 1950s and 1960s by Etienne Duplessis. Here, we see an instructor at Royal Air Force Halton in Buckinghamshire demonstrating to aircraft apprentices how to load a pack of four Aden 30mm cannon into a Hawker Hunter's instructional airframe in 1958. Three English electric Canberra B6s with the registration numbers WH948, WH958, and WT-201, belonging to No. 12 Squadron at Royal Air Force Binbrook in Lincolnshire, are captured in flight in September 1958. The distinctive fox head emblem of the squadron is clearly visible on the tails of the aircraft. The Firebirds of 56th Squadron from Royal Air Force, RAF, Wattisham, led by squadron leader Dave Seward, are seen practicing their signature Diamond 9 formation role in 1963, equipped with the RAF's sole English Electric Lightning. Five Foland Nat T-1s, the Yellow Jacks aerobatic display team from No. 4 Flying Training School, Royal Air Force Valley, practice an inverted loop in T formation over Holyhead, North Wales, during the team's only season, 1964. 